Hey guys, Thursday, July 18, 2024, U.S. session close. Let's see what the Black Widow did today. But so far, she kissed the uh, value area low of 213 and stalled, pulled back. Uh, the number was positive. A lot of bulls showed up, as you can see, volume. I uh, counted, this is uh, June the 11th. There's one, two, three. Four positive, like, volume bars that bulls showed up. So interesting to know some stats from 611. But anyway, we got some, some bounce here. Uh, let's see if there's follow-through. That's the most important thing. And I didn't do the Elliott wave, which I promised a chart because I wanted to wait for the close. Uh, I think the close is going to give us some clues uh, into the next trading session. Statistically, uh, it, the stats say that it's a down day, so we'll see. It lined up today being positive, but let's see if tomorrow's going to play out. We got MACD positive here on two, and uh, no reversals on the Hekanashi, but if we put our regular candle for the daily, uh, positive but still all red. Uh, and the trend is still down. So very risky if you want to go uh, long. Let's go back to our Hekanashi. Uh, but there was a lot of things. Harmo harmonics showing the uh, 18th and the uh, Elliott Wave chart. I had some timing clusters that was indicating you know, high, prob pro high probability for a turning point on the 18th. So there was a, cute, a, a, a couple of clusters there showing up uh, for a turning point so let's see let's see what the overnight is going to bring us in regards to our geometry chart whoa this is really big let's see here we fail the end uh the angle here kind of inside bar let's see now we're kind of below this andrews uh apf coming down here so these are very important i like to see us close above here Pretty much about 213 and see if we go hold it and start grinding higher. Another thing I want to show you is in regards to uh no, that's not it. Well, you know that 152, that's gonna to be tomorrow. Do you want to watch that? Swing chart. So in this chart, we have been going down since 60 uh June 11th. We have been going down. Uh, today will be 37 uh, days, but over here is 36. Lands on 7. Let's look at closer a little bit. Yeah, so this is the low we made right here. And that's the uh, 17th. That's 36 calendar days. And if we look back in the past, from this high here of... Uh, January the 12th to the low February 20th, it's 37 days. So if we move this over here, this, this uh, move right here with today's price action will match identically in regards to time. This move right here, although this move is uh, uh, way deeper, this is minus 54.93%. This is only minus 35.93%. So this one is deeper, uh, but they match the same. One thing I just noticed is looking at all these uh, turning points. 37 and 26 uh, trading days. So interesting stats exactly match. Uh, anything else I want to show before we go to the midpoint? I don't think, I think that's it. Uh... I know you guys are hating me for this, but still in the back of my mind, it's not going to let me sleep tonight. <laughs> it's not going to let me sleep tonight. Channel, midpoint, finding support. Let's go into our midpoint chart. And all right, you look at that. Our mobile signal disappeared. And that is because we fail to push high. So let's focus on the uh, four hour chart with our daily pivot. So this is a big pivot here. You want to keep an eye on 215. And uh, you can see right here, 
uh, we found support. This is market profile because our midpoint uh, pivots are all gone. Uh, we're no man's land here. And we got a PPS buy signal, but didn't get to close above the mobile bench. So it's technically still weak and bearish in regards to this technique. Uh, mobiles are positive, but it looks like they're starting to uh, creep in. And uh, what's, well, I guess once we find out the close, right now it's at 209. And Stokes are kind of waking up, especially this one here, but kind of pulling back. Um, let's go into the uh, one hour chart using our daily pivots. You can see that this is the, the line in the sand. 211, we went as high as 213. And it was just like a wall right there. Nothing could have penetrated. It's like all the all the bulls just like left. We got a PPS sell signal below the 200 uh, moving average. And stokes are unwinding. Mobo is still positive. So for tomorrow session or the overnight, we need to stay at least above 208. 208 is going to be the line in the sand. So let's say hypothetically, if they're going to uh, push it lower, you'll have uh, obviously our low of uh, today, which is like 202. Uh, target says downside 199 all the way to 196. But if this is the turning point, like I think a lot of your feeling is like, man, I think the low is in. Well, then all right, I'm going to give you a bullish view because uh, there's some things that are backing you up. So if this is it. Uh, we're going to get a pullback in the overnight session. Let's not take out 201. That's our low of the uh, 17th, right? Let's not take out 201. And let's stay above here. Good support will probably be the low of the U.S. session, 206, uh, even 205. Here's a pivot at 203. But st if you start digging into this low, I mean, it could. But you do want to fail new low. That's what, you re what you're looking for. If it goes in here, fail new low, doesn't push, or if it does some, you know, weird stuff. But as long as it gets back up above 201 and it gets above 208 for tomorrow, then yeah, you even take out 213, then any little pullbacks could be maybe a good uh good play to the upside going, you know, bullish into August. But if we take out 201, hmm. Sorry to mention it, but the gap keeps coming back to me. The gap fill keeps coming back to me. But let's see. Let's look at our score of nine. See if we get any clues there. We stole at 213. Wow, right before 194, which is 214. So there's some issues here. But if we could get to break through 214, your target would be 218. If we could kiss that and pull back and then push, you know, obviously 225. But let's see what the uh, overnight in the U.S. session tomorrow, knowing statistically is bearish. If we can't get above 213 or 214, obviously we're going to go back to 211 and uh, maybe kiss 204 and our low was 201. And if that doesn't hold... We're probably going to be seeing a dollar ninety-seven. So that means if we take out two oh one, uh, I mean, if we take out two oh four, we take out two eleven, go to two oh four. We take out two oh four, you're going to test two oh one, and if it breaks through there, uh, one ninety-seven. And then you want to watch out for one ninety-six and one ninety-four. And let's just leave it at that. Let's see if this hole, because this is that low right here, uh, one ninety-four, April fourteen. The low of 2023. Yep, 2023. I'm going to sign out. Hopefully, you like this video, and I'll keep you posted on my thoughts on that, guys.